Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Car Question. You probably saw the preview, the teaser that we did with the Kia K5. And now it's time to talk about what we like and we don't like about this car. First of all, look at the styling. This brand new K5, well, is the replacement for the Kia Optima. So now they're gonna use that name worldwide. This is probably one of the best and good looking car that you're gonna find around. You've got that mix of sportiness, you've got that aggressiveness, and you've got those sexy line and look at the back the lead line and how about also the chrome edition and you can see that they put some black on the trunk and this is a great looking vehicle probably one of the best looking for the money you can buy at this price point and you've got also a nice and sober interior you've got those black plastic though that you're gonna have to be careful because this is scratching at the speed of light as soon as you're gonna use your key around your cell phone you're gonna see that that nice piano black accent will get dirty over time and how about a nice built interior i'll really like the wood that we've got inside that model well it's for wood let's be honest but still we're getting more and more in that territory where luxury is offering you those kind of thing and you've got also a nice and big screen with a cool mood simulator system not too complicated to learn but it's not that much intuitive though but once you look also at the media file that you have you've got some kind of relaxation that when you press on the button you're gonna hear some relaxing sound for you to drive around well it's not really my thing uh, and you've got also the, the walk in the wood on snow. <laughs> I don't know why this one, probably to frame that you're in the wood and you're taking this call and you don't want to say that you're on a road trip. But still, nice interior, a lot of storage compartment, easy way to charge your cell phone with a QI charger with some kind of deep pocket here that will hold it over time. The space, when you're tall, well, you're going to hit your head probably, but it depends on how high you like to have your seat. In the rear, nice storage space, nice comfort for your passenger also. I really like the overall look and the overall functionality of that K5. And you've got plenty of technology feature also that you can add on the car. And you've got that all wheel drive power that you can get, but there's a catch to it. There's two engine choice with the K5. One, which is the 1.6 turbo, which is ooh, not that great though. And it's the only one that you can get with that all wheel drive power. Still, when we decided to film this car, it was snowing outside, finally some great time. And we had a lot of fun. And by the way, for the all wheel drive, no disconnection. Over time, you could feel that sometimes it was trying to retake control. So it's not gonna offer you a lot of latitude as the Subaru Legacy does, but still that system worked pretty well and will be able to face the worst winter around. But you cannot get that all wheel drive with the most powerful model of the Kia K5 GT. I'm kind of sad they should have put that all wheel drive system and we could have so much fun. Still that most powerful K5 will be available later this year at the time that we film that video. Otherwise, there is not a lot of bad feature inside that car. I kind of really liked it. But the sound of the engine, the fuel economy is kind of average and might be below average for me. The road handling is kind of okay. The direction doesn't give you a great feeling, but still it's a nice sedan with some aggressive look, but still some civilized engine as we could say. Fuel economy on the highway is kind of going to be better and you've got the tons of technology which is offered and you've got that cool feature that once traffic's going to move ahead of you, let's say that you're looking at your radio station right here on your central console. Well, if traffic start moving, the car's going to tell you, beep, it's time to move and not create any traffic just like those Toyota Corolla does. So it's a car which is going to offer you plenty of values and a lot of you guys ask me about the competition. Yeah, this is so aggressive because back in the days, only Subaru was offering all-wheel drive sedan like those ones, or you had to go in the higher luxury segment to make sure that you had those available. Still, one of my favorite might be the Legacy with the turbo engine power. Why? Because of the fun that you can have with this car without being so restrained, but the Legacy will cost a lot more money. So once again, they should have put the all-wheel drive available with the GT model. There is no hybrid also gone, is those engine configuration that you could get with the car in the past, but this one is offering impressive value. Overall, we had a lot of fun and I really dig the look of that new K5. This is one impressive car and you've got an awesome value because when you look at the price range, 
really affordable. So what do you think about that K5? Feel free to comment in the section down there below. Do a thumbs up, subscribe to our question, and I'll see you another time.